There are many different groups in high school, but one group really stands out as different than all the others. You see, there's extracurriculars, and then there's co-curriculars. And the students like me, who want to go above and beyond in the intellectual warfare, and want to take their minds just the next step to the co-curricular world, should look into speech and debate. Speech and debate isn't really talked about much, and everyone may be confused about what it is when I mention it. But today, we're going to be looking at a few experts and people who are members of speech and debate and truly get an understanding of what speech and debate is. <clears throat> so we want to know more about speech and debate. I mean, we're not really sure what it is. So who better to ask than the national qualifier, Sayla Wagner. She's pretty new to speech and debate. In fact, this is her first year. But she had an outstanding season, able to go all the way through to nationals. She does Congress, and we're going to learn a lot more about her by asking her some questions. Hello, Sayla, and welcome to my show. I'm going to be asking you a few things about speech and debate. So the first question is, why did you join? Um, well, originally I joined because I wanted something that was going to help me get into good colleges, but I stuck with it because it turns out I liked it. Oh, uh, that's really cool. So what do you do in speech and debate? Well, for me, my main event is something called Congress, and so it's kind of like the United States Congress, but it's like debating it at like a high school level. Um, and this is probably the event that I'm best at, so I do it a lot. What's the culture like in speech and debate? Um, it's kind of like a family in the way that like you fight with your siblings, but you always kind of like are there for each other at the end of the day. And we're all very close because we spend a lot of time with each other. Will you be doing speech and debate again next year? For sure. Thank you. So we learned a lot about speech and debate from Sayla Wagner, but she's not the only member of the team. There are a lot of other people from speech and debate. And wouldn't it be cool to hear about it from someone who wasn't a national qualifier? Mason Straub is another member of speech and debate, and he's been doing it for almost just as much as Sayla, about half of the season. Now, he didn't qualify for nationals, but after hearing a bit about the culture and family that Sayla mentioned, it'd be interesting that Mrs. Wagner mentioned, it'd be interesting to get to learn a little bit more about just what this family she mentioned is. And so, let's meet Mason Straub. Hello Mason and welcome to my show. I'm going to be asking you a few questions about speech and debate. So the first question is, why did you join speech and debate? Um, so last year we had a nuclear war simulator during class and it was a part of a Socratic seminar. So me and a couple of friends, we had talked about NATO and obviously nuclear weapons. So that was something that jump-started me to join speech and debate. What's the culture like in speech and debate? Um, it feels very, very nerdy, but not nerdy at the same time. So we're not like the nerdy kids, but we are the nerdy kids at the same time. What exactly do you do in speech and debate? Uh, in speech and debate, so I do discussion, which you're given usually four topics a week and you um, do research on those topics and when you get to an actual round you um, you answer questions that you are given and that's really that's all that happens. Will you, be, will you be doing speech and debate again next year? Yeah, it's been pretty fun. Thank you. Yes. So after talking to a couple of experts about just what speech and debate is, it sounds pretty fun, doesn't it? I mean, while it might not be for everyone, after hearing about it, it's impossible not to want to do it a little bit for yourself. So why don't we all go and look into it at our own local schools? I mean, this is just one speech and debate organization. It's also going on at your school. So why don't you look into it? And maybe, just maybe, you'll find the new favorite thing to do. Thanks for watching and stick around for the next one.